I don't know about you, but uh, if, if for nothing else, just being together with all of you Spire family and worshiping would have been worth the trip for me this week. And uh, we're just so glad you're here. Have you had a good experience this week at Spire? I was out with uh, our team last night. We brought 22 from California, and uh, we did top golf and had dinner together, and we're just kind of processing the week. And uh, it's just been so healthy and healing for our team. And I, was, I, I just think we've, you know, there's been tears flowing freely this week. There's been conversations. There's been the opportunity to grieve, to lament, to consider where we are. And uh, it's just been so, so good and so good to be with all of you. Anybody in the room like to fish besides me? Are there any fisher people in the room? I like to fish. And uh, our family, since long before I was born, has had a, a cabin on a lake in northern Minnesota where we still go every summer. And we do, yeah, shout out one person from Minnesota. Thank you for being here. And uh, we, we go there every summer, but there's a favorite fishing spot that I, I like to go to. But to get there, you have to really want to get there. It's about 20 miles from where our cabin is, and so we have to trailer our fishing boat. We drive 20 miles. Uh, the lake that we like to fish on, you can't even launch your boat on that lake. You have to launch on another lake, and you motor across that first lake. And there's a lot of lake homes and cabins and things around it. There's fishing boats, people, you know, water skiing, wakeboarding and stuff. And then you come to a channel that's about the length of two football fields. It's just about, opening is about six feet wide. There's lily pads on each side, big tall walls of white birch trees. And, and you get to the channel and it gets a little shallow. So you have to slow your boat down when you get there. And you just kind of putts through for about the first 50 or 100 feet or so. Then it gets so shallow uh, you have to tilt your motor up a little bit to get through, and then you have to lift it all the way up, and you get out your oars, and you have to row through a portion of the channel. And then the last 50 feet or so, the bottom of the boat starts touching the bottom of the channel, and that's when my wife gets out and pulls me through the last 50 feet. No, we, we all get out. We, we portage the boat through that last 50 feet, and then it opens to the most beautiful lake you've ever seen in your life. I've seen deer, you know, drinking out of the edge of the water, eagles flying overhead. There's only one or two cabins on this lake back there, and I've never seen more than two or three fishing boats back there at a time. But the fishing is just incredible. I mean, over the years, we have brought home basketfuls of fish from that beautiful lake. And you might ask the question, well, Gene, if it's so beautiful... And if the fishing is so good, why aren't there more boats back there fishing? And the answer is very simple. It just takes so much work to get there. You got to trailer your boat. You got to launch on another lake. You got to motor across the first lake. You got to enter the channel. You got to slow way down. You got to raise your motor a bit and putts through. You got to get out the oars and start to go through. And then you have to get out and portage the last 50 feet or so to get the boat through. It just takes so much work to get there. But listen, only those who are willing to go through that channel experience the better fishing on the other side. And friends, I don't know about you, but we've been through a channel the last 18 months. We've been through some stuff together. But I believe there's better fishing on the other side of COVID. I believe there's better fishing on the other side of division. I believe there's better fishing up ahead of us. And we follow one who said, go fish for people. Make a difference. And today's all about looking forward. Today, our final hours that we're going to share together are all about believing that there is better fishing for all of us on the other side. Who believes that with conviction today, that God's going to do something new among us?